I'm back with another video. If you follow me on social media, you may recall that I was originally going to do a video about the Boeing X-37B today. However, it's going to have to be a delay because of something that needs to be addressed. Lately, a friend of mine has been dealing with severe depression. So much so that he's had thoughts of self-harm. I've been trying to tell him not to do that. I'm not giving out his name for obvious reasons. But the fact that he's that this has been happening made me realize that I should do a video of raising awareness about mental illness and the fact that it's not a joke. There are various neurological disorders that I that I have and that I should talk about. First of all, I'm going to talk about my ADD, which stands for Attention Deficit Disorder. People who have ADD, like myself, have difficulty focusing. However, a number of people who have uh, who have it are known to have special talents. I would like to mention that ADD and ADHD are not the same thing. They are similar to each other, but people with ADHD have hyperactivity. I don't have hyperactivity, so this just means I have ADD. Next, we're going to talk about depression. I've been suffering from severe depression since my teenage years. Over the years, there has been a certain shitbag who's repeatedly accused me of making myself depressed. There is no fucking way someone can ever make themselves depressed. And anyone who thinks that is obviously some sick, twisted fuck who treats mental illness like it's some kind of fucking joke. To me, some of, those are some of the worst kind of people to ever exist. And it shows that mental illness is not something that should be joked about. My depression has gotten so bad during my teenage years, I attempted suicide twice. I stopped myself from doing it. Similarly, this friend of mine that I mentioned earlier has also attempted suicide. Thankfully, he didn't take his own life. Again, I'm not giving out his name because I want to protect his identity. There are ways to deal with depression, such as listening to music, getting something to eat, or doing something that you like to do. A brown line that smoking weed can also help treat depression. Moving on, I'm going to talk about my PTSD. It stands for Post Traumatic Stress Disorder. This happened as a result of all the bullying and harassment that I went through throughout middle school and high school. I'm not going to tell you what I was harassed for because there's a lot of stuff. Let's not forget all those times I've been threatened, assaulted, and downright tortured by certain people. Next up is anxiety. I've been dealing with anxiety for. Uh, you know, for a long time and it has made it difficult for me to make decisions and talk to people. It's also the main reason why I'm, why I'm often nervous when talking to people or even interacting with people online. I know there's a lot of people who also have this issue so I'm obviously not alone. Last but not least, I'm going to talk about my bipolar disorder. There's a lot of people who have bipolar disorder which can cause extreme mood swings. I can relate to this because it primarily happens to me, and you know, because you know, certain people constantly piss me off when I need time alone. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of neurological disorders out there, and that was just the five that I have. I struggle with them on a daily basis, but I always manage to get around. So let's be clear that these are disorders and cannot be cured. And yet, there are certain shitheads out there who think this stuff can be cured. A notable example is Healing Journeys and their bullshit faith healing scam. Everyone knows that faith healing is complete bullshit. And, and, and uh, Healing Journeys claims that they can cure autism as if it was some kind of a disease. Of course, autism is not a disease. Although I don't have it, there are, certain, there are some people I know personally who have it. And those people sure as hell would be sickened and disgusted at healing journeys and their bullshit scam about curing autism. If you don't believe me, you know, go and do some research on healing journeys so you can see what kind of bullshit they're trying to sell. Anyways, I made this video to try and raise awareness about mental health. And it's something that should never be joked about. I also made this because of a friend of mine who has been constantly battling with his depression. I told him that he needs to keep fighting and not to let it win. Especially since I too suffer from severe depression. I was going to say this again. There's no fucking way someone could possibly make themselves depressed. If you think there is, 
You're just a hateful piece of fucking trailer trash. And you know who you are if you're watching this video. I also mentioned that people who accuse others of making themselves depressed are right up there with white supremacists as some of the worst kinds of people to ever exist. Also, I really hope this anonymous friend of mine can get help somehow because I don't want to lose him. Anyways, I'm not going to conclude this video like how I normally do. So there you go.